Hey everybody, it's Real Deal, aka Kelly. I just wanted to do a little bit of an update on my Silmaron 1887 lever action shotgun. So, when you buy this gun, it holds five in a tube and one in a pipe. And there's, for you that who are not familiar with this gun, there's a Right here is where the, sh the shell comes out and loads. Um, and a lot of times, like on your semi-automatic shotguns, you could put a round there and it'll hold it and it'll hold an extra round. Well, as this gun comes out of the factory, if you try to put a shell there, it won't, the action won't close because it's like that much too much spring. So what I decided to do, um, and I'm not the first one who's done this. I saw another gentleman's video. Uh, a, Hoosier, a Hoosier brother. He's, he works down at Two Berry Firearms. He did a video on it. And he just cut the spring back a little bit. And now he can um, lay one in the chamber below. And so now it'll hold five in a tube, one in the carrier, that's the word I'm looking for, and one in the pipe. So this will hold seven rounds. I ordered a uh, Wolf Spring, extra strength uh, spring. I don't know if you can see this. This is what I have extra. I cut off. I thought I'd just show you that. I took the original spring out. I could have cut that spring. Uh, there's nothing special about that spring, but I wanted to keep that original because it's the original spring that comes with the gun. I just wanted to keep that original, so I ordered an another shotgun spring, cut it a little bit lower, and uh, now she holds an extra one. But it's time to test it out, make sure it still works like it's supposed to. So let me put my ears on and let's give it a try. I just did this morning when I was drinking my morning coffee. So let's count. One, two, three, four. All right, now we got five in the tube. I'm gonna put one in the pipe. And now I just laid one down here. She closed. All right, let's shoot it and see if it'll cycle like it's supposed to. Hang on a second, let me try to get you at a better angle. All right, she ran just fine. Hang on a second. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. One. Two. I like loading it like this. Three. Four. All right, five. She gets five in the pipe. One in the tube. Or she has five in the tube, one in the pipe. One in the carrier. If you can see it, she closes. 
Five in the tube, one in the carrier, one in the pipe. <laughs> she seems to be working just fine. Let's do it again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, and seven. Now she's hot. She's cocked and hot. All I had to do is pull that trigger. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that hammer down. Now it's in half cock. See that hammer? I brought it forward and I brought it back. Now it's in half cock. Safe direction. Half cock is a safety. She's on a safety. So now she's ready to go. I hear a pump in the night. All I gotta do is boom. Now she's ready to go. Now she's hot. <laughs> I tell you, I have owned a lot of shotguns over the years. As you can tell, the gray, I'm not a young man no more. I've owned different shotguns, and hands down, by far, this is my favorite shotgun. So it looks like getting another spring, trimming it back just a little bit more, a little bit back than the original, uh, it looks like it works just fine. And you get an extra an extra round. So instead of uh, six, now you get seven. And you can also load, if you wanted to, five in the tube and one in the carrier and have it ready to go. And then all you have to do is rack it if you don't want one in the tube pipe. So yeah, hands down, it's my favorite gun. The only thing I plan on doing, I think, to this gun left is I, I'm going to get a really nice leather sling. Um, I know there's some people in the cowboy community that buy these guns. And when I say cowboy community, I mean uh, cowboy shooters. That... Um, there's a gunsmith that does something that you can just drop two rounds in and it'll feed it just fine. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I have to look, I'm going to look into that. So. Can you see? So, like I said in my other video, when you shoot this gun, she's unloading. When you shoot this gun, when you rack it, you got to do it all in one action. You can't stop. Um, the more I shoot this gun, the more slicker this becomes. The more, just the more and more uh, it slicks up and it just feeds so great. Um, let's shoot some more, man. 
I just can't get enough of this gun. One, two, three, four, five, one right here, one in the carrier. All right, I think that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to test it, make sure it worked, and it seems to be working just fine. Uh, I have a question, and I hate it when people do videos and they say, oh, I have a question, leave a comment. It's just because they want you to leave a comment, and they want, you know, it, it does better on YouTube. But I really do have a question. For all you guys that own shotguns, right? Now, the old timers say you should never clean the bore. And I want to know how many people don't clean the bore. Now, this is a smooth bore. It's not rifled or anything. This is a shotgun. So I'm just curious. When you clean your shotgun, do you clean your bore? Uh, and if, if not, then please tell me why you don't. If so, please tell me why you do. You know, I, uh, sometimes I don't clean them. Sometimes I do clean them. But there's some people that say you should never clean your bore in a shotgun. So I'm just curious how many people do or do not. And I'm really wanting to know that question. Um, so yeah, so that's my video. I'm going to shoot some more, but I'm going to do that off camera. All right, brothers and sisters, until next time, remain always and thrive to live free in Christ. Peace.